Hi everyone! In this video I'd like to go over how we would solve for the pH of a strong base solution. So before we do the problem there are three things I want to make sure we're good on. The first one is that the strong base will completely dissociate. What that means is the whole amount that I put in will break apart into its component pieces. The second one is that the pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. The third piece is, is that when you add your pH and your pOH, you'll get a value of 14. So now that we know these three things, let's look at our example. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. It says, calculate the pH of a 3.8 times 10 to the minus 2 molar solution of calcium hydroxide. So the first thing we want to do is pull out the relevant pieces of information. So we see that we are calculating the pH, so that's the answer to the question we're looking for. We're also told the concentration of this substance here. So the first thing you want to figure out is, okay, what is that substance? So we know that this here would be a strong base, calcium hydroxide. So we know that if it's a strong base, that means it completely dissociates. So if we write that reaction out, we would have calcium hydroxide breaks apart into calcium ions and hydroxide ions. Because there were two in this overall compound, we'd put a two in front there. That means for every one mole of this, we would get out two moles of that one. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take that 3.8 times 10 to the minus 2 molar, and we're going to do a mole ratio. So first thing is remember that this molar is going to be moles of our calcium hydroxide per liter. So now we want to get rid of moles of calcium hydroxide. So we know that for every one mole of the calcium hydroxide, we have two moles of hydroxide, and we'll see that those cancel out with one another. So what we find out then is that in the solution we have 7.6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar hydroxide. And this is the value that we'll use to solve for our pOH and then for our pH. Let's take a look at that. So here we have our value of our hydroxide concentration, 7.6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. So what we can do is plug that into our equation for pOH and solve for the value. So we have pOH is equal to the negative log of this concentration, which is 7.6 times 10 to the minus 2. From this, we get a value of 1.12. Now remember, this makes sense relative to pOH, because a pOH less than 7 means that we have a basic solution. But we need to remember that the question was asking about pH, not pOH. So what we have is that the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So what I can do is subtract my pOH onto this side, and I'll solve for my pH. So we have 14 minus 1.12, which gives us a value of 12.88. So this is the value of my pH, and that makes sense on the pH scale because a pH greater than 7 means a basic solution. And that's how you'd solve for the pH of a strong basic solution.